What did it feel like to get to watch a person unravel? The Penguin episode four was wild to say the least. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit like, ding the bell. We talk Penguin all the time. Loving this show. Let me know what you guys think of the Penguin and of episode four in the comments down below. I thought this episode was absolutely spectacular from start to finish. This show as a whole, this is how you do a TV show. I need, I need help. We have to, you know, the first few episodes are building asking questions, answering questions. And this episode is a flashback, which normally I'm usually like, oh, yawn, let's move on. But this one nailed it. Sophia Falcone is such an intriguing character to begin with that getting her backstory, who she was, how she operated, first of all, completely blown away by what they did. All of us watching are suspecting that, that she is the hangman killer. If not her, probably Julian Rush or her brother maybe was was the hangman killer in this iteration. But no, of course, it was this simple, plain and simple. Her father, Carmine Falcone, is the hangman killer. And when she starts to get into that, he's like, well, you're going to Arkham for a little while. And you're not coming out because I've got connections, pal. I've got connections. Great episode start to finish. First, I just want to say one thing. Magpie? Magpie? Great little... That was awesome. I love that they threw that in. Shout out to my friend Brian. He's doing, working on an animation right now called One Night in Gotham. And the main antagonist in that is actually Magpie. So I thought it was kind of hilarious. And the, the use of the character, fantastic. And then really fantastic as the episode went along. And even more fantastic when uh, her, fin her grand finale in the Reeves verse was met. Such a great character just to throw in. That's what I love. These characters in the rogues gallery in Batman's villain encyclopedia exist in Gotham already. Gotham is the big antagonist of the Reeves verse and all these characters already live within. And I really think the Batman too, we are on track for no man's land, the Batman too. But all that aside, this episode begins with the ending from bliss episode three, which I thought was at first I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> Did I, am I just putting on the last episode? And it was a great, we saw another perspective on it. We didn't see Victor's this time. We saw Penguin and Sophia and what was going on with the Moroni family. And all of a sudden, it's been outed now. Oz has been outed. They know, Sophia knows that he is a double agent. He's working both sides, saying what he needs to be said to get ahead in the game. Sophia put all of her trust in him, regret it right away. But Sophia, on the flip side, is very similar to Oz. She says all the right things. Everything she needs to say, she says. We see this multiple times in the flashbacks of this episode where she's with Oz and she's like, she, it sounds like when she's talking to Alberto, how she kind of respects Oz. She's like, hey, don't call him Penguin. But then she's like, you're my driver. Don't forget you're my driver. Last week, she's like, you're a driver. There's all those moments. And it's great to see that these characters have so many layers and so much depth to them. And, and we're seeing it play out and unravel almost against them like their strengths and weaknesses are being played out wonderfully in this series i like when sophia gets put into arkham you get to see like the the chain around her neck a la riddler and a la joker from the batman but this really symbolizes like the hangman i'm like she is the hangman killer which is what she's obviously been framed as i thought it was a night i really like i said before i thought that was a great little twist because the whole time I'm like who is the like I, I didn't really think it was her because it was almost too obvious we know from the comics like okay she's the hangman killer uh press was asking was asking her about it before so it was nice you know that she wasn't it but the twist was kind of like oh it was just her dad all along that's very simple us uh, key cameo magpie who had to notice but summer gleason as well from batman the animated series love the little tidbits that they're throwing in it's the this the thing that's that i said in my batman two years ago review that this show is living up to is just the respect that it has for batman lore and batman characters in general because i always felt like the batman tv show was very like 19 the 1960s Batman, but, but like m grown up, <laughs> but it was the adult version of that show. There's a lot of little hidden things in there that are references to that old series. And I love that this show is continuing that trend that the Batman had where you're respecting older Batman material. And it's just, it's working. It's all coming together and it's all lived. This is what I love. It's all lived and you're utilizing what you have. They utilize what they have and they enhance it and let it grow and all of a sudden, like you have a fully formed, fleshed out characters 
that were, you know, forgotten many, many moons ago. Love it. Absolutely love it. The time in, in Arkham that we see Sophia in is horrifying. And it's like, this is why those games are so awesome too. Because, you know, you go there to get rehabilitated and, and to get reformed, but you have no issue to begin with. And actually Ar Arkham is making you worse off than you were before you got there. And you, and what I loved about the Sophia character is she was so innocent as she went in and Carmine like really respected her. And he's like, I want you to be the head of the family because Alberto's a useless. He's a waste. He's a waste, which is a common thread between these two. And Sophia's all in on it. But then all of a sudden, Summer Gleason comes into play and she starts to learn more. And all of a sudden, she realizes, ding, 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 that's my father. My father's the hangman killer. And when she confronts him at his birthday, he's like, you got to get out of here. And when Oz is, and Oz is driving her home, the cops come. And I believe it's the same cop from the Batman. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they pull her over. They arrest her. And she goes to Arkham. Before that, though, we see Oz is being a rat, ratting out Sophia, letting Carmine know about the press, which was not, I thought, you know, based on the last episode, it might be about the hangman killer, but it's actually just her going to the press. And Carmine took that really hard. And then, to make matters worse, she started to suspect that he was that. And then he still had Penguin Driver home. And I like that in the 10 years, Penguin went from Driver to runner of the iceberg lounge and all that which he referenced last episode things are heating up though sophia in in arkham great insight into what arkham was we see that it's not just julian rush in there there's dr ventress as well which i think is mirror man if i'm not mistaken mirror man i doubt that's the case with this one and she went through multiple doctors and the whole thing is that no one ever Believe everyone lied to her is what she says. All these men lied to her, which is the whole episode is about every person has ever lied to Sophia. And the and it ends in the culmination of all of that. We'll get to that in a second. But it was a fantastic episode, the way it worked. And it worked as episode four, halfway through the season, you're giving me a flashback and I'm all in. Everything about it is leading up to where we are now. And in Arkham, we see how they wanted to fight a, guard, uh, fight a prisoner and she doesn't want to, and then the prisoner kills herself, and they kind of use that against her. And you see how how corrupt Arkham is, and we also know that the bliss drug is coming from Arkham. There's a lot more at play there than we're getting, especially with Julian Rush. I don't really trust him still at all. Actually, at all. Like I don't think Sophia does it like, at all. He wants something more. I don't know if it's sexual or not, but he wants something out of her, uh, Scarecrow. So there's something going on with Julian Rush. And we're going to find out what that is, I think, by the end of the season, because I don't think he's making his way to the Batman 2 necessarily. So I thought this episode, this series was going to be kind of just showing Oz's rise to power. And then we got to the Batman 2, Oz would be the, the head of the Falcone family or the head of the, the mafia or whatever it is in Gotham. But this series now, I'm kind of thinking, are they just are they throwing in Sophia as the head? of it and there's going to be like more of a power struggle there with the Sophia like because because again if you don't need this show to watch the Batman 2 you could just go into Batman 2 and be like the dead mob boss's daughter's in charge you, like it's an easy easy thing to explain without watching the show so I'm curious now how it's going to go like I thought for sure Penguin was going to end but now after this episode and spoilers if you haven't seen if you haven't seen it and you're this far along and me talking and me blabbering about it then I don't know what to t I apologize but at the end of the episode, uh, Julian says, you should probably go to Sicily and get a fresh start and everything. She goes, you know what? I will get a fresh start. And she goes to a dinner. She has this great speech about how everyone kind of ratted her out and said that she had a mental problem. She wasn't stable, mentally stable. And it was her whole family. Nobody was there to help her. Everybody was kind of against her. And then at the end, she takes her, I believe it was her cousin or her niece down. And uh, they had to sleep outside. And when she wakes up in the morning, she puts on a gas mask. And she's wiped out the Falcone cl clan. Just wiped out the Falcone. We see them all dead. They're all just wiped out. Gassed them all. And then she goes to uh, Vidi's room, pulls out a gun, taps his toes and says, we need to talk. And that's where it ends. So she's she has wiped everyone out. So she's essentially the head of the family now. Vidi's there and her. So she's essentially the head. She's taking care of business. We have a new Sophia. If you thought she was scary before, now we now we get to see like innocent Sophia to I'm going to gas my entire family just because they're all dicks basically. But she, she gassed her entire family and her driver, her friend, her only partner she had was playing both sides the whole time. Like we're still a few up. We've got more episodes to go and the roof is going to cave in because this thing is getting intense crazy 
excited. Where is it going to go? Things are, I don't even know. Like, I can't speculate right now. I just watched the episode. I'll probably do more as the week's coming because this show's really heating up. It's ramping up. There's so, it's so, it's so well written and well executed and the acting. So I said last week, Colin Farrell was going to win an Emmy. This week, I'm saying Christine Milati is going to win an Emmy. For, like this episode, she just nailed it. Because she, she was so innocent and then ruthless. And you saw, and it wasn't just like a snap of the fingers. It was a full progression of that. And it was just brilliant. And I, I turned to my wife halfway through the episode. I'm like, this is a TV show. I don't watch a lot of TV, so maybe I'm wrong. But I was like, this is a TV show. This is excellent. I thought it was just absolutely fantastic. So again, look, this show is just crushing it on so many different levels. You have Easter eggs of characters, Magpie, Ventress, things like that. And then you have just the character development of all of it within. And then they even flesh out characters like Alberto Falcone, who dies in the opening scene of the first episode. It's just doing a really great job of engaging the viewer, engaging the audience. And this story is far from over. There's so much going on. I can't wait to see where it's going once again let me know what you guys saw in the comments down below julian rush scarecrow you still on that you still on that he could be calendar man probably not all right everybody thank you so much for watching like i said i'll be doing more penguin videos in the weeks to come i appreciate you so much thanks for watching give us a like and subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe